Hey everyone! Um, okay, so today I'm going to be doing, um, this really pretty, um, it's kind of like hot pink with black in the crease. And it actually kind of looks goldish on here, but it's not. It's like, it, it's, it's pink when you're in person, but my lighting is, it, it, it's better. It's still kind of bad. But, um, okay, well I want to talk about what I'm going to use first because, um, the only reason I'm using this kit is because um, I found it at um, Marshall's. I was on vacation in West Palm Beach, and um, there is, I found this, and it's a brand called Sugar. Well, later I did some research and I found that it's actually sold at Sephora for like $28. Well, I got all of this for $3.99. And so definitely check Marshalls and TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is selling it too. So that is why I'm going to be using this. But this is actually what that that look came out of. So, okay, first I'm going to prime my eye with, of course, the usual Urban Decay Primer Potion. Um, so, um, I'm super excited really nervous at the same time. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, but Panacea81 is having a um, contest and I'm going to enter. Um, so when I do, please, 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 please go and for it for me because um, it would be awesome to win. <laughs> so, um, okay, so first I'm taking, see that hot pink, taking that color. And which, of course, if you can't find this anywhere, just any, like, hot pink, kind of, it's like hot pink, but then you could also kind of say petal pink. And just take it and put it all over your lid. And go up right onto the brow bone. Right above the crease. Just like that. Looks more pink over here than it is here. But I've been wearing this all day, so um, I've been out and about. Um, now I'm going to be using the white and just highlight with this. I got new makeup today, too. Uh, I got. Um, two L'Oreal hip colors, and, um, now I want to show you guys, if you see either one of them, if you really want me to do something with them, please let me know, I will definitely do that. I got this one, which is Brazen, Brazen, I don't know, I'm thinking Brazen, and, um, then I got Showy. And which I've been dying to have this one for like ever. I love these colors. But yeah, if you guys want me to do anything with that. And I also got two um, pigments last night. I got Rebel, which is like, let's see if I can get better lighting. It's like a green color. I don't know. And then Restless, which is like a beigey white. But I really love it because it actually comes out kind of like a yellowy duochrome. And then I got this. I'm not going to open it, but it's Physician's Formula Pearls of Perfection in Blushing Berry. So if you guys see any of that stuff and you want me to do something with it, I will definitely do so. Just let me know. Okay, now I'm going to be using this. This is a matte black, and you can use any matte black that you can possibly find. And if you do find one, let me know, because I haven't found one yet. And I'm using this on my MAC 219 brush. Love this brush. And just very lightly going right along here. And then up. And just smoking it in. just very lightly in here we're really wanting it out here and 
and just like that. See how simple that is? It really is easy. And um, that's it. Really simple. Um, really quite easy. And then you can just take um, a brush. And this is my Revlon brush. Contour brush. I really love it. Um, it's very similar to the MAC 224. And that's what I like about it. And I'm just kind of making that seamless, softening the edges. And now, where'd it go? Um, I'm using my Line Fantasy in black. And I'm going to be using, um, this is a lip brush, but I use it for anything. I pretty much want to. And I'm going to be using it for this. And just give yourself a slight slant like that and just line your eyes okay now with this part you're gonna have leftover on the brush just barely really come in and just kind of feather it into the inner corner like that, but don't go on like above it because that really, I don't know, for some reason it just throws this entire look off. I did it the other day and it looked horrible and I was like, oh my god. So I took it all off and I redid it. It looked so much better. And now I'm using um, CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus for the bottom. And um, I am. Kind of tug your eye over a little bit and do it when you start. Do it to where it'll point the eyeliner. And that really looks cool. And just line your eye like that and go straight into the inner corner. Just like that. And that's it. Really simple. Like I said, now for mascara, I'm using CoverGirl Eye Lights for green eyes and black ruby. Just use whichever one is for your eyes. And after this video, I'm going to be hard at work trying to figure out what I'm going to do for the panacea thing. Um... I will probably upload this at the same time I upload that, so. Okay. Now, I wanted to give you guys um, a quick tip here. This is part of my eyebrow brush, but if you can find any spare um, mascara brushes like this, or even just like a comb, doesn't matter. And see how my eyelashes are like clumped together and they don't, they're not very feathery? Just run that through and it should take out all the clumps in your mascara. And really feather your lashes out like that. I don't know if you can really see much of a difference on camera, but I see it in person. Um, okay, and then I'm just going to take... Sorry, I um, didn't even realize my camera cut off, but um, I just took my Jane powder in Fair and just did that all over. And then I took my Sonia Kishuk blush in Flamingo and did that and then I took the Sally Hansen Daily Lip Moisture Gloss in Clear Apricot and I put that on my lips to finish off. So um, that's about it and hopefully I'll have more vids up soon. I'll talk to you guys later.